Hey guys, today we're making a few simple pommel clay tools in miniature. I'll be linking the tutorial for the pasta machine, the tiny brush and the pastels in the info box. First we're going to make the pommel clay. You can make any brand you want, I chose to make Fimo. So first you're going to take some clay and just cut out a square. Then use the back of your blade to make some ridges. Depending on if you want this to be working or not, you can choose to bake the pommel clay, otherwise you can just leave it as it is. Then for the packaging, I just took some printer paper and used watercolors to paint the logo. Cut that out and then just use a piece of tape to wrap the clay. To make the exacto knife, I just rolled out a thin snake of clay and added a few details to where you'd usually turn to change the blade. I then cut a tiny blade from some metal and added this to the exacto knife and baked. And after baking, I just used alcohol ink to paint the handle. The blade is just a simple piece of metal and I used a file to kind of define the sharp edge. To make the ball tools, I cut the heads of some head pins, then added some clay to make the handle, rolled that out and baked. After baking, I just dipped them in glue to make the ball tools themselves. And once dry, you can paint them using the alcohol ink or acrylic paint. For the paint tubes, I first sculpted the lid and then where the paint comes out using pommel clay. After baking, I then just formed the tubes themselves using paper. And to add the final details, I just used alcohol ink and acrylic paint. To make the craft knife, I first made a stencil and cut that out from the metal from a tea light. Then cut a blade and make sure it fit into the first piece. You can then use pommel clay to sculpt the casing as well as a small kind of knob or button. And after baking, you just want to glue those together and you have a working retractable craft knife. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next tutorial.